Hi, this is Lisa DeMonte with MyLegal.com. It's Friday, May the 7th, and we are here with Michael Clark, who is responsible for much of the programming of this year's conference, the second annual National Institute on Internal Corporate Investigations and Forum for In-House Counsel. Michael, thanks for joining me this sure. afternoon. And Michael, of course, you're a partner at Dwayne Morris's Houston office, and as I said, we're responsible, along with some of your colleagues, for the program for this year's um, event. Can you tell us or give our listeners a little bit of a general summary of some of the topics that were discussed at this year's conference? We have uh, kind of a wide variety of uh, res really responsive topics in this area. Um, issues from the perspective of the corporate counsel, how to deal with investigations, ethical considerations. Um, we've, had a, uh, we've had a topic about government interests. We've had a topic about defense interests. We've had uh, basically every topic we can think of uh, to try to bring in uh, salient points of for a wide variety of uh, audience members, and uh, hopefully next year we'll do a little bit better. We've uh, asked for input on how to improve it, and we really mean it. Well, it's been a really exciting um, event, I think, to hear perspectives from regulators, uh, from the defense side, as well as from the corporate counsel side. So um, any thoughts about how you would uh, change things a little bit or what additions you would make to next year's program? Well, as, as somebody has wisely suggested, shorten the name uh, <laughs> because it is a bit long. Uh, but frankly, uh, our interest is to try to get more in-house counsel involvement uh, and to, to try to focus less on the criminal aspects uh, and more on the regulatory aspects because these cases can go civilly, administratively, criminally, um, all at the same time, all in uh, seriatim. So it, it's important to, to, to move into the more common venue, which is administrative or civil interest, private litigation concerns. And hopefully in the, in the next year we will get more involvement uh, from that perspective. That's our hope. Excellent. Thank and you. Michael, lots of um, fabulous, very thorough material is available yeah. from the ABA uh, related to the articles and presentations that were given throughout the conference. Um, for those that weren't able to attend, how can they um, receive or purchase that information or material? The ABA always makes materials from its national institutes available online and um, purchase it from the uh, ABA um, website, which uh, is, is pretty user-friendly, quite frankly. So that, that will be up and available uh, very soon for essentially the price of attendance. That's excellent. Okay. Michael, thank you again thank for you. joining us today and for the opportunity for us to participate in this fabulous event. Thank you. I My appreciate it. My pleasure. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.